Hey guys, welcome back to Dying Light. This is Fate, and we are going to do another video. Uh, this one we're going to talk about is how to fight zombies, and what I use to fight them, and what I've learned how to fight them. Hordes of zombies, clustered zombies, crazy zombies, big zombies. Yeah, so we're going to go into this, and I'm going to show you the weapons, uh, how the weapons work, how to make them, where to find them, all the good stuff. Now, I did make a video earlier about this, but uh, <laughs> I had another hiccup. <laughs> I didn't turn my mic on, so I made a long video of just the game and me not talking. So, yeah, <laughs> I messed up. I'm sorry. Again, I am new to YouTube, so I do make rookie mistakes. I know, I was like, oh, how could you make that mistake? Fate, it's your microphone. Yeah, I know. I'm a rookie. <laughs> I'm, new. I'm new to this. But anyways, that's not important. The important stuff is the game. And the weapons in the game. All the good stuff in the game. So I'm going to show you all these neat tricks I've learned. What I do to survive. And how I fight zombies. And I know we keep appearing here. I think it's because I went in there and went out and did the whole cutscene thing. That's what I'm assuming, at least. I'm not sure. No, I'm still new to this game. I'm not a professional. So, oh, I'm already getting attacked. So, here we have lots of good zombies surrounding us. But first, let's take a look at weapons. So, I'm going to show you the different weapons. I know I have my pistol equipped. I know I was like, what? Fit using a pistol? Yeah, I know. <laughs> I did... I waste a lot of stuff. Um, I want to show you the eggs, but the last one I have is just this fire egg. Maybe I can find another one anyways. But anyways. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I'm going to show you the weapons I've been using. So let's switch these out. Switch that out. Um, let's see. Let's use this. You have, already, you have already seen me use the pick a lot. So you know what's it about. You know what it's about. So. So, um, in the game, you do find blueprints, um, <coughs> excuse me, find blueprints <coughs> in the game, how to make them, um, you can purchase them from the shop, I think I got this one from a quest, I don't remember if I got this or not, but anyways, <coughs> excuse me, uh, you can get this from the shop, um, you can purchase them. The game I purchased was the Anniversary Edition, and it came with these blueprints already. So, I recommend if you haven't got the game and you're considering getting it, get the bundle. Um, it's only a little bit more, but it gives you blueprints and stuff to start out with, so I recommend getting it. Um, anyways, so the Punk Queen, um, it's a crowbar type weapon, and it tells you what it basically needs when you get the components. It is one crowbar, uh, metal parts, and all this stuff. Club um, is a pipe, um, any kind of pipe, and then all these things, lacerators with any of any of these items, no picks, planks, no plank, no picks, no planks, uh, <clears throat> all the good stuff on here. Um, I've made this one before, the constable. I didn't really like it too much, but that's just my opinion. Again, you know, this is my opinion. It has a police style baton and all these good stuff over here. Um, the witch's kiss is any type of wrench, monkey wrench whatever wrench pipe wrench and all these parts so all these parts you can create from the uh the blueprints you pick up um these are attachments you kind of just attach them to whatever you got um let's see the ones i use the most is the nightclub mostly nightclub lacerator and winch's kiss i don't really use the other ones too much i haven't really used these two very much yet but hopefully we'll find it and use it Anyways, um, you can create Molotov cocktails, throwing stars, med kits, all the good stuff. So yeah, let's get right into it. I'm going to show you uh, the basic stuff first. So uh, let's use the nightclub. I need to prepare it. I was using it earlier in my last video. <clears throat> so yeah, so the nightclub does do electrical and fire damage. I'm looking to some do a little fire on the end of it and the electricity coming off it. Uh, this one does 
do a lot of breaking damage and stuff. So I'm gonna show you how it works. Let's get right into it. I'm gonna kind of step on these guys. So yeah, hit those guys up. So you can see the the oh my game volume is really loud for some reason. Let's turn this down a lot because I can barely hear myself. Uh. <laughs> Sorry, uh, let's see, game. The volume is really loud. I don't know if I just had my volume really turned up. Oh, uh, yeah. So, back to it. Uh, <clears throat> it does do breaking damage. This guy's already climbing up here. Let me get away. Uh, it does do breaking damage. You saw the little, like, x ray cam. What's a cool feature in the game? Like, if you break their skull, break an arm, break a rib, whatever. It does do it in slow mo. And if, like, you crack their head and, like, their head explodes, and it does do it in slow mo. A little cool feature of the game. Uh, this club does do a lot of that. Uh, so I'll show you in the game. You see, you get electrified. There's a lot of them here, I gotta kind of watch my back. <clears throat> so yeah, well, aim for the head. It does cripple them more, and does the electrical damage a little bit easier. So you can see that I cracked its skull. And that one just got electrocuted right there, that was really cool. <clears throat> wow, they're just coming out of the woodworks. So you see again, it kind of like, Dismembers them, slows them down. I don't know what that is on that zombie, that's kind of weird. So you can see. Oh, ah. <laughs> I gotta watch my back. I gotta remember, I gotta watch my back. So that's pretty much the nightclub. It does electrical damage, does a lot of cracking, bone breaking, whatnot. Probably better. Bone breaking is more of a better term for it. It does stun them a lot, stops them on the tracks. Um, you can also kick in the game. Or, I'm going to show you a sliding kick, which is pretty useful. I slide, knock them over. You can jump off them. You can drop kick in the game if you pick up the feature. Oh. Oh. I should watch my health. <laughs> oh, wow. I apologize for that. I should have paid more attention. I was kind of having fun there. Uh, that looks bad on me. <laughs> it's the first time I've died fighting zombies. And this guy's talking. Uh, Raheem. Yeah, yeah, I know. Brecken told you. Uh, I know you can jump off here. Yeah, I know. That keeps playing. I think it's here. Let's see. <laughs> I completely missed. Oh, Fade, get on your A game. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I know I'm kind of just messing around here. <laughs> uh, it looks bad. I know. Okay, try it again. You can jump off here, just aim where you're going. You can do that. <laughs> Which is really cool. I know I'm kind of messing up here. Everyone can have a good laugh. Like, oh, Fate, you're messing up, man. Yeah, I know, I need to pay attention more. <clears throat> Anyways, back to it. So that was pretty much the nightclub. Uh, let's switch to the Lacerator. Lacerator I like a lot. It does dismember limbs a lot. Uh, decapitation. It makes them bleed. I promise I'll keep an eye on my life bar, guys. Sorry about that. I was kind of messing around. So you can see I just cut that zombie pretty much in half. Um, it does do that a lot. Watch my back. So this one's really good, especially if you can find a higher grade um, weapon to use it to upgrade it on. These guys are relentless. <laughs> uh, to upgrade it on. So yeah, so that's fun. Um, I did want to mention that the higher grade of your item you have, it actually upgrades with your upgrades. I know these are so blue, but you can see Wunch's Kiss here is green, and the one I have is actually blue. So basically, these weapons scale, the upgrades scale with whatever part you picked up. So you can see my nightclub, it's just a basic one, and the last one is basic. Um, the tiers go, tiers go from gray being basic, green is better, blue is good, Purple is awesome, and occasionally, like this little bad boy right here, you'll find uh, is orange, which basically means top tier item. Um, basically, they scale like, you know, what, gray breaks a lot, <clears throat> um, green does not break as much, blue is more durable, purple is really, really good, it's very durable, and then of course, if you find a orange weapon, then you're in good hands, basically. <laughs> So let's get back into it. Uh, so showing the lacerator. 
I like this weapon a lot. I personally use lightsaber quite often. Next, aside from the nightclub, just because it's easier to fight him with. You can have a man. These guys are tough for now. Um, it has a better chance of killing him in one blow. Like that, you can pull that off. And we go. Why are these guys so aggressive right now? I don't know if it's just me, but man, they're really upset today. I don't know why. <laughs> they're probably just mad at me. <laughs> so yeah, I like it a lot. I like the lesser. I use it the most. I really, really like it. You can just kind of just chop up your enemies. And gonna repair. Uh, the repairs on items. Whoa! Did you just throw that? What did you throw? How dare you? <laughs> like, wow, that was rude. You just threw that at me. Cut your leg off, sir. That leg just stood there. <laughs> It's just <laughs> it's standing there. What the heck? <laughs> All right. Well, that's a thing. Let's pick that pipe up. I just cut its head off. Um, most weapons, they have a certain limitation of repairs. Uh, see this one? You can repair it up to four times, which is really good. Last Raider, you can repair it two more times. That only has one repair left. I'm going to show you the blueprint because I did pick up that nightclub. I mean, nightclub. <laughs> I picked up that pipe. So I'm actually able to create it. So show you that is is a green item and it does change to the color that you're actually making. And you have created a nightclub. That's what it is, guys. That's straight and simple. And that's how it works. So that's the lacerator for you. I'm gonna switch to this. It is it is just a hammer, but hammers are really good. But they pretty much stop your whoa, someone's behind me. They pretty much stop your- this guy's mad. <laughs> what? Then... alright, well... I guess he decided to do push-ups there. Um, if you can hit your enemies in the head with, with a uh, hammer, you pretty much stop them in the tracks. So that kind of just stops them right there. And these guys are really... Oh, I'm climbing stuff I don't want to be climbing. <laughs> This guy just dodged my skill. So, anyways. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I need to pay attention to what I'm doing. <laughs> I got just rambling off here and trying to fight zombies. My agility leveled up. I got an achievement. Stuff's going on. And these guys' zombies are not stopping. <laughs> and now there's a plane going there. So many things going on right now, guys. <laughs> uh, my goodness. I'm just trying to show a video and things are just happening left and right. Can't even stop the talk. I'm trying to show this video of my rip. I need to repair now. <sighs> this is Dying Light. It's a never ending story of zombies just in your face. Man, that guy's mad. And I'm missing. So, yeah, so that's the hammer. Um, it. <laughs> not really much to it, it's the hammer. These guys are dodging. This guy doesn't stop. You need to get off my case. My health is low. Things are happening. I can't heal because this guy's on my case. Nice. I am missing. I'm just trying to show a video here and this guy is just on my case. <laughs> oh yeah, drop kick's good. I saw you coming. <sighs> Dying light. Crazy zombies everywhere. <laughs> uh, okay, so as I was trying to tell you, hammers are good for that. You can break limbs, break bones very easily, or just stop them in the tracks of what they're trying to eat you. These guys are relentless right now. <laughs> okay, so that's the hammer. I'm gonna switch it up right now. Let's switch to this bad boy. I need to repair it. <clears throat> uh, this is, I guess it's kind of like a machete. It's called a hook blade. Um, but any type of, um, like, machete, knife. Not so much knives, but machete. Longer uh, knife-like weapons, like machetes, um, are really, really good. Because they cut them up and cause them to bleed. But you can pretty much, like, 
Cut your enemy, cut their heads off. It's very fast and agile. It's very easy to use. And it does do a lot of bleeding damage. And you can cut their heads off really easily. I like this weapon personally myself. I think it's really good. Next to the... Next to the... Um, the uh, Crude Pick. It's my, my next favorite. <clears throat> okay, this zombie right here... Uh, has a gas container on its back. And if you hit it... It explodes. Like that just happened. <laughs> uh, but yeah, when you do that, it does attract these angry zombies. And I can't get away from them. Kind of wasting medkits here. You need to get off my case. Yeah, these guys are mad. <laughs> so, just be forewarned if you are gonna do that. Just be prepared to have those zombies chasing you. There's another one, goodness. But, as you can see, I am doing a lot of decapitation. So, if you want a quick kill on your... What hit me? If you want a quick kill on your enemy, I recommend hook blades. At least a higher tier to hook blade. You kind of just just remember your enemies as you're fighting them. Yeah, so that's that weapon. I actually we're gonna find we're gonna go hunting. I want to show you the other uh, bigger zombies. If I can find them. Uh, what the? I hear people. Why can I not jump over you? What is going on here? Oh yeah. Oh. I thought that killed him. <laughs> That's why I stopped. Can you back up? I. Killed him, brother. <laughs> Calm down. Um, you can also charge strike your enemies, like I just did right there. It does do a lot more damage, but it's kind of slow. Hey, can I get the thing? What do you get? Oh, you just gave me money. Okay. Uh, another cool thing is you can actually kick your enemies into these things. So that kind of gets them stuck there, and it kind of kills them instantly. Um, Another thing, too, is if you can get the enemies to come to. I think this is gas. Yeah, if you can get your enemies to come to you, you can actually light this up on fire and have them all, you know, come here. Uh, let's see. Wow, that killed them really fast. So, this weapon is very useful. Can you not, please? Who's next to me? These guys are on my case. <laughs> I know it's getting a little gory, guys. <laughs> That's part of the game mechanics. I miss completely. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, I don't think anyone's coming, so let's try to get this real quick. Uh, with these things, remember, just tap the button until you hear it. Not click, like, right there. Oh, almost got it. So close. Whoa! Ah. Oh. Yeah, that does happen too. Okay, I'm trying to do it real fast. Got it. And there's one on my case. Oh, you're a poison zombie. Um, you can also fall on your enemies. Kind of stops them in the trap. Let's get this open. What I get? Military shovel. I don't know what that is, but let's try it out. <laughs> uh, it's the first time I got that, so let's see what it does. Um, I guess it works like a machete. Let's find out. Dropkick is a good way to take out your enemies too. 
Wow. Okay. So that's a thing. Oh great. Kinda uses up a lot of stamina. I guess it's a heavy weapon. Yeah, it uses quite a bit of stamina. Yeah. This is okay. It's kinda heavy. Uh, I like this one better. I'm out of weapon parts? Okay, let's scrap some stuff. Uh, let's scrap that, because I don't really like it. Uh, scrapping weapons, basically, um, kind of... Let's just scrap this already, it's already done. Scrapping weapons gives you weapon parts, which lets you to, um, you know, craft stuff, repair stuff. Yeah. <laughs> This one's already done. I don't like knives. <laughs> I always say, why do you like knives? I don't like knives. <laughs> Sorry, I just don't like them. I'm going to show you that in a minute. And that's it, right? Yep. Oh yeah, I need to show you this. Let's swipe that up. So, the Wench's Kiss is pretty strong. It, um, kind of, it's kind of like a sh strong knife weapon. It does take him out pretty quickly. So you can see it does a lot of damage. I know this one's on his last leg, so this one's about to be done. Oh, wow. You came and attacked me fast. I was just looking at you a second ago. There we go. So it's pretty good. Um, I like the one just kiss a lot. I use it quite often. It takes him out pretty quickly. And it's done. <laughs> yep. Goodbye, Wunch's Kiss. <laughs> Showing you that real quick. Mm. Alright, I am gonna hunt for a bigger zombie. Let's repair this one more time. I can use it. That one's on fire for some reason. Why, I don't know. But just be careful, because if anything's on fire and they're standing next to you, you can catch on fire. So that's bad. Let's find enemies. Huh. Could have sworn there was bigger eyes. Okay, the enemies I'm trying to show you guys is the brutes, kind of. Um, I say brutes like they're just the bigger dudes that are enemies. I thought there was one around here, but I guess I'm wrong. There's two police fans here. I can get this real fast. Oh, so close. No! Uh, <laughs> I was right there. Oh, there's a lot of them here. So I'm gonna throw a Molotov cocktail at these guys. So you can see kind of what it does. So you want to have them all like in a group. Like right here. Just ch chunk it right in the middle of them. And you can basically take them all out in one blow. And see all the experience I'm getting. So yeah, so it's really useful. It takes a lot of enemies out at once. So just make sure you have them all huddled up in a certain spot if you want to do it. Uh, I'm going to show you this Easter egg one. Kind of fun. Boop catches them on fire but it's only like single target so that was the smallest boom and I'm attracting you are you serious okay note self the smallest boom will attract those crazy zombie people uh, let's see <laughs> I missed <laughs> that was horrible <laughs> Actually, let's use the other one Slow motion kills. Good kills. Oh, I'm missing. So, yeah. I kind of wanted to show you that. Ah! I should watch my health too. And there they are. And I'm gonna kick you, because you are annoying. Ah, I missed. 
with another one? Seriously? Kick those guys out of the way. Um, I know I'm showing you a lot of kicks and stuff and like jumping over enemies. Wow, you are crazy right now. <sighs> Man. Um, I do have my kicks upgraded and my slides upgraded and this guy is a problem. Oh, wow. I hit it. I didn't mean to hit it. Oh, that's going to attract a lot more zombies. More than I initially intended to. So, yeah. Can you stay off my case, please? That was a good hit. Why are you still up? I kicked the crap out of you. And I kicked three of them at once. Awesome. Uh, kicking sometimes does have a chance like to like break their limbs. Sometimes, not all the time. What? Uh, okay, you guys are getting kind of annoying. Let's see if I can huddle them up. Oops. Didn't mean to push that. I know you see a flare in my inventory. I don't know what flare does, to be honest. I threw one just to see. It didn't really do much, so. And I really want to just want to get to this police van. So see if we get lucky and find another gun. But, deal with these guys first. is about to break. Repair it before it cracks. It's kind of hoping to get them all, but I guess not. Um, I hunt for police fans a lot, only because they drop kind of like the best stuff. I think I took care of them all. They pretty much drop the best stuff in the game, to be honest. You know, um, the reason I say that is because it is a hard lock, a very hard lock, and from what I've experienced is the harder the lock, the better the reward. And I think that's typical for Morse games. Oh, did I get it? Ah, man. The tower here, Jade speaking. It's gonna get dark soon. If you think you're not gonna make it back to the tower, find the closest safe house. And don't dawdle. Yeah, so when you get closer to Night Moon, they will warn you. I am not getting this lock at all. Come on. Oh my goodness, seriously. I'm like right there. Come on. Okay, well that's it. Don't know why I'm not getting that. It's right on the money. Anyways, I can make five of these at a time. It's kind of upsetting me. <laughs> I'm usually good, really good at this, and I am not hitting it today. Ah, there we go. Finally. What do we get? Aha! Another pistol. Awesome. <laughs> so that's two pistols we have now. The German one being the better one. Let's see, is this one? Aha! More police cars. There we go. What you got in here? Ooh, another epic tier loot. Awesome. We're getting good loot today. <laughs> I guess that's the game saying, wow. That is... Wow! <laughs> oh, I guess that's the game saying sorry for being a jerk to you, but yeah, we got lots of good loot this time. Alright. Things are finally looking up. What you got? Medical kits. Yes, I was running low on these anyways. I was wasting them, just being dumb and dying a lot. <laughs> so yeah, so we're getting good loot. 
I should just made this a loot video, but no, we're doing a fighting video. More medical kits, awesome. Yes, so this was worth the fight. All these zombies here we were taking out. Well worth it. Got medical, got parts, metal parts. Look at all this loot. So much loot from all these zombies. All that money. <laughs> Look at this. Just handing them out like candy. I think this is Halloween for Dying Light. I oh, know, that was a terrible joke. I'm sorry. <laughs> but yeah, after you uh, basically kill a bunch of zombies, just don't forget to loot their bodies because they do drop some stuff. Metal parts. Like I, I was kind of running low on those. I have nine now. Look at all this loot. Oh my goodness. Look at all these zombies we killed. Yeah, for some reason, I guess, like any. I don't know if you guys ever played Resident Evil. I love Resident Evil. A close second to this game for me. I should probably make video for Resident Evil games. <laughs> but, uh, let's. Oh, there's more stuff here. Let's see if I can get to. Get off me. That I want to show you that big zombie, guys. Just real quick, if I can get to it. Yes, I know, Jay. <laughs> I did that on purpose. I don't like those guys. Yeah, it's over, buddy. Sorry. You are still on fire. Let's see if I can find that big zombie. You guys are mad. <laughs> wow. Uh, let's see if I can find him. I don't see him. Where are they? That one's holding a weapon. Wait. Was that a car? First time I heard. Okay, there we go. I know these guys are usually. Why are you following me? Jeez. Okay, night is really fast approaching, so I'm gonna show you this real quick, just because I want to show you. These guys. They're hard to kill. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, they do that. And they don't really die that fast, but I'll show you this real quick. If you own a gun, which I do. Basically one shot to the head kills them. I'll show you right here. Yep, they're hard to kill with melee, but one bullet to the head kills them. So yeah, if you're lucky and you find a pistol, I have a good pistol. Uh, what was these people guarding? I know they were guarding something. I think it was this. I really don't know how to turn the power off here. Maybe it's up here? I'm not sure. Hmm. It's a good thing that everything's electrified. I just wish I could figure out how to turn it off. Um. Well, night is approaching. And we are in night mode. And actually, this is a good thing. I actually wanted to test something out. Which was... Those really annoying zombies. Which I think he's over there lurking. Let's see if we can sneak up on him. Kind of want to catch him by surprise. And he's going to sneak over here now. It's hard to see. Not see where the crap. I don't want to see if this kills him. Ah, oh my gosh! Oh, this is a mistake. This is a terrible mistake. Oh, <laughs> I was like, as you can see. That really did nothing to him. 
Why am I attracting so many zombies? I am in trouble. Oh, I have my flashlight on, of course. Whoa! Wow! Wow. Oh, I am paying the price. I cannot see. <laughs> okay, I got caught. Yeah, I'm dead, I know. <laughs> but yeah, but as you can see, as you can see, I just mumbled a bunch of words together. Um, those night dudes are no joke. <laughs> so avoid them and only fight them if necessary. And I had, I had this purple gun equipped, mind you. This is a very good gun. I know I just find these two other guns, which are really good. Like I'm, I'm, I'm stellar out that I found two guns for once, because I'd never find any guns. I was happy just to find this one gun. But yeah, so that's pretty much it for fighting, uh, for the most part. Um, you can also get parts from shops, like this guy's a shop in the safe zone. Uh, he, you can see he sells the blueprints, and he does sell, I don't buy all these because I use all those. He sells uh, parts and weapons and whatnot. But yeah, so that's pretty much it for fighting. Uh, nighttime mode, it, I did a video on that already. Uh, it does give you double experience when you fight and double uh, uh, parkour when you do parkour. Only if you're at the outside, of course, it won't work in the safe zone. But yeah, so uh, like and subscribe if you like the video. Post comments you want to see for future videos below. I'm so happy that you guys are watching these videos with me. I am new to YouTube, again, I will say. Um, I am not a pro at this. <laughs> so mind you, if I say some gibberish stuff or just make bad puns and bad jokes, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm new to this. But I am just really excited that you guys are watching this video with me. And for all the views and subscribers and likes I've gotten so far, thank you so much for whoever subscribed. Uh, all the people that did, who are, everyone who's watching this video, I'm just really happy to do this with you guys. You know, so like and subscribe if you like the video. I know I said this for the second time. You know, fate, you're repeating yourself. I eh, know, I'm sorry. But thank you so much, guys, for everything. Uh, let me know in the comments below what you want to see for future videos or for any other games you want to see me play. You know, I'm open to ideas and willing to play anything you guys want me to see me do. So thank you so much for watching. And this is fate again. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Alright? So long, guys.